Well, hello everyone. I hope everyone's having a great day. Today is going to be another fun swatching video. I'm looking forward to this. <laughs> I like to do these videos at the end of every year just to have fun, just to go through and swatch through my collection. Um, these videos also help me sometimes to determine what I should declutter next. This video is not going to be a declutter, but I will be doing one of those in the new year and sometimes going through each product and talking through the colors and formulas Sorry, you can hear my dog walking around. <laughs> anyway, it helps make these decisions. I have to think about these things. I can't just do these split second decisions. <laughs> so anyway, today's video is just gonna be fun. Uh, today's tea of the day is the most delicious coconut green tea. I don't know if I've ever had a coconut green before, but I'm gonna make sure and link it down below because I think this is actually really delicious. And I think I'm going to start with bronzer. So I'm gonna move up these highlighters all the way and we'll just do bronzers. Okay, so this collection video is just my single products. It's not including products that are inside of palettes, but I do try to keep my bronzer collection relatively small. I do have some that I want to try, but before I'm going to let myself buy any more, I'm gonna try and use up some of these. Let's go ahead and talk through these. So I have two e.l.f. Potty Bronzers. This shade is the shade, I think it's shady, feeling shady, and this is a super cool toned shade. And it's not a shade I reach for very often. Um, and it's my coolest like cream shade so I tell myself that if I ever want to contour this is the product I would reach for. I kind of like the idea of using this as a contour because it is such a kind of a sheer buildable product. But in the winter I actually might consider trying that as a bronzer product. It took me a while to get used to this uh, formula from e.l.f. It took me finding the right brush. I find that I like it with a really big fluffy brush. This other shade is one I tried panning this year. This is the shade Honey Drip. This shade Honey Drip is much warmer than that cool toned shade. So while I don't necessarily think it's the best formula ever, I actually do enjoy reaching for it in the summer. Next, I have this little mini from Nude Sticks. This is the Nudies All Over Face Bronzer Color. This is the shade Bondi Bay, which I think that's the shade I hear referenced most often. This is a tiny little sample. It only has 1.8 grams in it, so I'm hoping that this can be one that I could just finish off. It is nice and creamy, but I was a little disappointed at how warm the shade was. So if I ever do finish it, it will definitely be in the summer. I have another little tiny thing here. So the product from Milk is small anyway, but this is actually a sample of the bronzer from Milk Makeup. But this is the shade Baked. A friend just decluttered her collection and gave this to me. I was so excited to try it because this product has a lot of hype. A lot of people love it. So again, it's a little, for me, warmer than I would choose. I choose, I like something that's not quite so warm, but it does blend out nicely. So, and I'm still testing this. So, you know, be on the lookout for this in a speed reviews video, but I'm, I'm really happy to have this and try it. This is my favorite powder bronzer. This is from Flower Beauty, the Heat Wave Luminous Bronzer. I pretty much use this all winter long. This is my chosen winter shade. This is the shade Sunrise. This bronzer looks blushy on the cheeks. I know it doesn't really look like it in the pan. In the pan, it just looks really kind of cool toned, but do you see kind of that rosiness and has a nice luminosity too. As a beautiful, buildable formula, if you're someone who's trying to avoid products that are too warm, I really recommend this. I mean, look at that in comparison to those. And none of these are considered to be that warm, <laughs> but just in comparison, you can see this is much cooler and I find it to be much more flattering and natural looking, so oh. Love this one. Another one that is very flattering, very natural looking from Makeup by Mario. This is the Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer in the shade Light. This is very different from the other products in, the, in how like little pigment it has. It's very balmy. It's almost impossible to mess up. <laughs> it's just fabulous. I've talked about this a lot on my channel. We probably don't need me to talk about it that much. I love that one though. This one from Makeup Revolution is a very popular product right now. This is the Ultra Cream Bronzer. I have the shade Light. It has a really nice kind of tropical pineapple scent. This one, you do have to be careful with how much you use. It is very, very pigmented. Most definitely out of all the bronzers I have, the most pigmented. I barely touch my brush to it when I use this product. That being said, it blends out beautifully. Like it is really pretty on the skin. I'm kind of interested actually to test that next to these other shades. 
it looks just so much deeper just because it's so much more pigmented. Anyway, it's a very nice formula, just very pigmented. And lastly, the one I've been using lately, this is my Salt New York bronzer, and I just realized that I'm giving you a spoiler for my Project Pan update. <laughs> Whoops. I've been trying hard to hit pan on this this year. I finally did, obviously. Anyway, this formula reminds me a great deal of the Makeup by Mario because of how balmy and kind of foolproof it is. Shades aren't exactly the same. This is the shade Light. So that's the Salt New York. That's the Makeup by Mario one. I think as far as the shades go, I prefer this one. But the way they apply is basically the same. It's a really beautiful formula. But those are all of my single bronzers. I don't have very many of them. Uh, the story is different when it comes to highlighters. So I will move this out of the way and bring in the highlighters. Obviously, the little container I've been using to hold highlighters, uh, it no longer works. I have too many now. I'm going to have to figure out a different solution for that. So maybe we can start with the creams and then do all the powders. Let's first, let's start, so first, let's start with my Salt New York highlighter. This is the shade Beige, I think. I better check. Yeah, Beige. So just like everything from Salt New York, it is obviously a cream. <laughs> Just a very, very pleasant, easy to use cream highlighter. Nothing crazy going on here. Just very pretty. Next, I have two from Merit. I have the shade Kava, which is the one I got first. This is the one that's just kind of um, champagne-y colored. I adore this formula. It gives you very much kind of like the skincare glow. Oh, look at that. I just love it. And then I also have the shade Citrine, which this is kind of close to my skin tone, and so it creates a beautiful kind of natural glow. On my wrist, it's a little gold, but my face isn't quite this pale. <laughs> but oh, I just love that glow. One of the best highlighters I think is out there are the ColourPop Super Shocks. I have the shade Lunch Money. Just the texture, it's very, very flattering. So soft, so beautiful. Lunch Money is just a very, very nice um, champagne shade. No glitter in this one. I know some of the ColourPop Super Super Shocks have glitter, this one does not. Mm, another product I love, I'm gonna be saying that a lot. <laughs> I've been really in, in a highlighter this year. The Day Glow Highlighting Glaze from Flower Beauty. This is the shade Stunner. It is a balmy formula that gives you that skincare glow that I enjoy so much without any sort of a glitter. You can see how it looks there. It's very natural looking, super beautiful. Next up, I have this highlighter from Phytosurgeons. This is an extremely unique formula. I have the shade Fresh Fog, which is the lightest shade. And I did hit pan on this last winter. This requires a little bit of warming up before I can get any out of the pan. So let me just do that. It's a very, very stiff formula, but there you can see on my finger, all that swirling and that's all I picked up. So it's a very stiff formula, but it's not at all glittery. It just kind of gives a sheen to your cheeks. It's fresh fog. And lastly, from Fenty, this is new to me. Oh, hello. <laughs> new to me this year, I picked up the Diamond Bomb and how many carrots, and I have been enjoying it so much. I mean, oh my gosh. That is just delightful. Beautiful scattered diamond twinkle effect. So these are all of my cream highlighters. Just looking at them like that, I absolutely Oh, love them, love them. But I'm gonna wipe my arm off and we can move on to powders.
All right, I start in this little section. So this is a loose highlighter from Sydney Grace. This is the shade Candied Peach. Sydney Grace has a beautiful formula in both their pressed highlighter formula and their loose. I haven't tried their cream ones yet though. I'm sure they're beautiful. Candied Peach, beautiful. This one from Laura Geller is very unique and I really enjoy it. It's pretty much the opposite of anything else that I have. This is the Baked Original Highlighter Duo. I have French Poodle and French Almond. French Almond is too deep for me, so I just use this shade as a highlighter and it is the most natural looking highlighter you've ever seen. If you wanna add brightness, but not necessarily glow, I mean, oh my goodness, it is perfect for that natural highlighted look. Like you could say, it's even hard to see on my skin there. It gives the most barest, tiniest little highlight, but it's very, very flattering. The powders from Laura Geller are very, very nice and finely milled. So hoping you can see that. That is really beautiful, but I don't reach for it that often. I've been really more into shine nowadays, but I do really appreciate this product. Here's a TJ Maxx find from Clinique because I do believe this is discontinued. This is the Powder Pop Flower Highlighter in Lunar Pop. And I bought this because Kathleen, Wright, <laughs> Kathleen Lights raved about this. It's got a beautiful design on it there. Surprisingly, this is another one that's more natural looking. It's kind of hard to pick it up with a brush. It's kind of a baked gelée formula. So watching it with a finger goes better than using a brush, I find. So let's see. This gives a beautiful kind of peachy highlight. Look at that. Oh, it's very, very beautiful. Great for when I want kind of a low impact peachy highlighter. This is new to my collection from MAC. This is the Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Soft and Gentle. I was actually expecting something a lot more low intensity with the name like Soft and Gentle, but it's actually quite reflective. Very pretty shade. Here we have the very popular Rare Beauty highlighter. I have the pink one, the shade Mesmerize. This was a favorite find for me this year. It's fantastic. Beautiful shine. This was a cosmetics company find, this discontinued or limited edition shade from MAC. So this is the shade Beaming Blush in the Extra Dimension Skin Finish. This is another one with a beautiful imprint or embossing, whatever you want to call that, probably embossing. This one mostly looks gold on my skin, but it does flash purple. It's kind of hard to see there. We'll see if we can get it in the swatch. Let's see, there's the gold. Can you kind of see on the edges how it looks very light purple? Pretty unique. This is another one that doesn't really want to pick up well with the brushes I have. I'm trying to figure out the best way to wear this. It's very pretty though. I have a little mini from Bobbi Brown. This is the shade Pink Glow, another baked gelée formula, which I find I do really enjoy. Gorgeous. This one from Laura Geller is actually a blush, but it's just so light on me that I have it in the highlighter category. This is the shade Ethereal Rose. And it is a very, very light pink blush indeed. But you can see it does have a beautiful luminosity to it. From NARS, this is my Project Pan highlighter. I use this, have the shade Fort de France. I just realized I'm giving you another spoiler. <laughs> oh well, look at there. Do you see? Do you see that tiny little pan? <laughs> Very exciting. This is a classic highlighter that is not too beaming. This is one that responds well to being buffed into the skin to, to get the best effect. But you can see in comparison to some of the other highlighters that it's very low key and a little bit more gold. Very easy highlighter to wear. I have my Natasha Denona Super Glow. I have the shade 01 Fair.
And in comparison to the highlighters next to it, it is a much, much stronger reflect. From MAC, I have the Extra Dimension Skin Finish in the shade Double Gleam. I really love this one. If you want intensity, this is one to go for. Hm. Beautiful. Another very high shine one is this one from Revlon. This is the Skin Lights in the shade Daybreak Glimmer. Very soft formula. It feels lovely. It's another one that's a little bit more gold in comparison to others, but has a really beautiful reflect. Absolutely love this one from Nabla. This is the Skin Glazing in the shade Ozone. I'm starting to run out of space on my arm. I'm gonna try and put this one. Oh, I love that. Oh, I love that. I'm gonna put that one right there. Oh. Yeah, it's one of my favorites. I just love it. And then one that is new to my collection that I'm testing, this one from RMS Beauty. This is the shade Prosecco Fizz in the Hydra Dew Luminizer. It's another beautiful baked jelly highlighter. Be on the lookout for this one in upcoming speed reviews as well. That's how it looks. Maybe I can put it, maybe I can put it over here. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Okay, and one last one, another one that's new to my collection. This is from Kaleidos. This is the shade Ray Rider, which Kaleidos has so many beautiful colored highlighters, but I really just wanted the one that is kind of just a champagne. I'm kind of in love with this soft matte packaging. It's beautiful. I'll put my last one here. And so that is Ray Rider. I love my highlighter collection. <laughs> I really, really do. Mm, that makes me so happy just to look at all those. But after trying them, I do have some opinions, I think, on what I do or do not need to keep. So uh, eventually I'll be, I will do a declutter. <laughs> I'll do one in the new year. Oh, I just realized I forgot this one. I had this in my little pile to review or like ready to review, which is why I forgot it, sorry. So this is the cream color base from MAC in the shade Shell. This is a beautiful pink cream highlighter. That's not a very good swatch. Everywhere's so sparkly. I'm trying to find a spot that's not so sparkly. <laughs> there we go, you can see it better. I've been enjoying this so much so far, but definitely I'm gonna look out for a review. I'm gonna put this in one of my upcoming videos. Thank you guys for so much for joining me on this fun little swatching video. I always enjoy doing these just for fun. So thank you for watching. If you have a favorite rosy toned or cool toned bronzer, make sure and let me know. Or if you have a favorite highlighter formula, I wanna know that too. Thank you so much again for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.